If Rachel had started for home, she might have arrived with the last of the daylight. Instead, she took off her squishy shoes and waded into the pond. Her tired feet sank into cool mud. She wiggled her toes and watched the play of sky and water, smiled and thought of nothing at all. A solitary gull swooped and tore at the pond. It rose and hovered low, barely as high as the twisted scrub pines. It sat on the air so close to Rachel that she could see the drops of water on its sharp, smiling beak, shiver at the wisdom in its dense, unblinking eye. It invited, as before it had welcomed, balanced in our windy wake while we crossed the pitching night under a million stars. When I would not part for you again, you cleft me with your sharp keels. If I let you, you can ride me like a lover. If I want you, I will keep you for my own. You are on me, but I am in you. You are scattered as the stars in the firmament, everywhere, and where you are, so also am I, rocking in the rhythm of your blood, always. We are a drawing apart, we are a coming together, forever. Rachel ran, her wet shoes and a few woody-stemmed black-eyed Susans crammed in her apron pocket. The packed dirt road disappeared and she ran across a shifting pan of white sand, gritty, glowing and warm. Ahead of her, dunes held by a silver tracery of dusty miller hid the source of the now thunderous chaos of voices. Laughing, sighing, shouting, come, hurry, see. Or was it the reply of her own rushing blood as she struggled upward, the soft sand sliding away underfoot? She crested the dune and stopped stunned before the living water. More water than she had ever seen, more than she or anyone could understand. It rose in swells of glassy green that broke with a roar, then teased and nibbled the shore. It stroked the gentle slope of beach with sinuous vanishing fingers. And where it ended, there was only sky. Rachel had never before seen a horizon uninterrupted by the works of man. She held her breath, when she released it, her long sigh was taken and entwined in the throbbing song of the Atlantic. Something was growing, something enormous. It spread out in every direction, curving across the face of the water and beyond. Exhausted and nearly fainting with hunger, Rachel sat back into the sand and slept. <laughs>